from the Science Summer Safari Family and Teacher Expeditions. I'm here at Cataract Falls State Recreation Area and it's a beautiful place to start your expedition. So I'm here to start in the parking lot at Cataract Falls. You've already made your entrance, there's a bathroom, and there's a place for you to get your bug spray, maybe get your hand lens ready for your expedition, and bring any of the maps and resources. Behind me is a covered bridge, and also Mill Creek. Mill Creek drains about 250 square miles of Indiana farmlands and woods into this cataract falls. Now the word cataract actually means waterfall. And this cataract is kind of famous. It's the largest by volume waterfall in the state of Indiana. Great place for a picnic, great place to get started on your expedition, Mill Creek Cataract Falls. upper falls at Cataract, there are two falls, the upper and the lower. Now the total drop is about 80 feet from Mill Creek all the way down to Cagle Mill Lake. Now if you take a look at down below, you see a lot of people fishing, but I like to take a look at the limestone. The limestone that you see there is millions of years old and it was uplifted and when we had the last glacier, the Illinois glaciers that came through about 50,000 years ago, that erosion caused all the ancient lakes and soils to expose this limestone layer. And so this is the upper part of the falls of limestone, and over millions of years it's eroded away, and you can see some very interesting layered limestone rocks. This is the time at the upper falls, it's time now to head to the lower falls. You have some options. You can drive to it or you can take the trail. It's about a mile. It's all downhill from up here to down there is about 80 feet. I think I'm going to take the trail. On any trail in Indiana, you want to take care of that it's uneven. There's probably poison ivy. And on this trail, it's pretty steep going downhill, so don't run. You can do what's called the switchback. I'll show you, you that. If you go to a steep part of the hill, you want to help each other. Instead of going straight down, I would like to call this the switchback. So you see I go this way, to slow down, you cut back, switch back, you cut back and switch back. And this stops you from running straight down the hill and getting hurt. So we're a couple hundred meters from the upper falls. And you can see Mill Creek has calmed down a little bit. And this is a beautiful place to look in the water for all kind of aquatic creatures. There's crawdads, fish, and a lot of water snakes. Just check it out. You should probably find one of each of those on your hike today. We're halfway between the upper falls and the lower falls. And I like this spot. It's a great place for a picnic. It's where Mill Creek slows down. And you can see that as the water comes around this curve, it slows down because it's kind of flat here. All rivers, including Mill Creek, flow because of gravity. And if there's a big difference in gravity, it goes fast. But you can tell this nice start of a, what's called an oxbow lake. If this channel changes its course, this could be a U-shaped lake and the current in the creek could be further over there. You're halfway to the lower falls. Okay, I just finished my hike from the upper falls and now I'm at the lower falls. And you can see the water's up quite a bit. I've been here sometimes when there's about a 10 to 15 foot drop at this fall. This changes as the rainfall in this Mill Creek drainage area over 250 square miles drains into these falls. Now if you notice there's a fence that's been put up here and that's for your safety. There have been some Pretty bad accidents that have happened while people have fallen off of these or fished from these or even dived, dived off and swam.
it, as the water flows on down, it ends up in Cago Mill Lake. And it's kind of cool because you can see that the water is way up. There's a special trail here at the Lower Falls at the very end of the parking lot where you can find something a lot of people don't go and see. Just follow me right down this trail. I like to call this the Mini Cataract Lower Falls. And why I like to come here is a perfect place for kids and people to get into the water and explore all the types of critters you might find down here. And you probably won't get hurt like you would over at the other falls. So check it out. I hope you enjoyed your Science Service Safari family expedition here at Cataract Falls State Recreation Area. Hey, when you're here, there's a lot of points of interest not far from here that you can visit. Right down the road is the little village of Cataract, where there's the most wonderful general store and a historic old schoolhouse. If you're here, check them out. Oh, <laughs>